miracles that's happening every single day in our world. Every single day in New York City, across the world, everywhere, there's miracles happening all the time that you never even know about. We have some awesome videos we're going to share with you about the power of prayer and miracles that happen in everybody's life every single day. Wow, watch these. Mother Angel had. Her husband left them when Abraham was only three months old. But Angel's joy was taken by fear because Abraham was always sick. Right, Mindy, I loved my son so much and did all I could to save him. He suffered from asthma since he was a baby. I worked very hard, fought and do domestic jobs just to pay his medical bills. One day he was very keen on barely breathing. By the time he came to the hospital, Abraham had asthma, tuberculosis, and anemia. That day his temperature was low, his breathing was labored, and his body was cold. Then he would not survive. So I told him to go home. But Abraham never made it. He died on the way home from the hospital. When I discovered he was dead, I wanted to die myself. In the village, it's considered to have a very small on a Friday. So Abraham's body was kept until the next day. As the mourners grieved, someone said they should call an evangelist who was supported by CBN. When the pastor arrived, he encouraged them and said they should believe in God. Then he said a prayer and played tapes of CBN shows. I showed them that a miracle would happen and Abraham would resurrect. But the villagers started hurling insults at me, saying, How can a person who died over 24 hours ago rise again? But I was encouraged that in God all things were possible. As the crowd watched CBN's turning point, one of the hosts began to pray for miracles. And at the moment, an amazing thing happened. We were all surprised to see the body move. Just when they were making seeking away from them, he came back to life. The people were shocked. Then he rose, and he thanked God. But it's all story. It's happened. The boy was dead. But after 24 hours, he rose up again. Summer breaks just broke out in the village. Because of that miracle, dozens of people gave their lives to Christ, including the doctor who had treated Abraham. I was an idol worshiper and never knew the power of God. But when I got to the village, I heard about Abraham's miracle. I accepted Christ. Many of my doctor friends gave their lives to Christ. When Abraham went back to the hospital, the doctor gave him a clean bill of health. He doesn't even have asthma anymore. Like to be sick all the time. Abraham has vivid memories of the time he spent in heaven. I was at a place everyone there was growing. We played a soccer game and I scored, so they said I should go back home. Wow! Did you see that? This is what I'm talking about, the miracles around the world. And guys, I hope you like the show today. We have some amazing new videos coming up and our next show. Be sure to tune in for that. And also, don't forget to pray for one another and be there for one another. And most of all, guys, don't forget to, to love yourself. That's the biggest thing. Thanks. Guys, we'll see you next time on Changing Your Life with Brian Keith Parker. Take care, guys.